uh, you should know before traveling during the pandemic. Uh, to my channel or welcome back. That ain't right. Hey. <sighs> <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Taylor Terrell and I kind of do all types of different videos on here um, but basically today I'm going to be talking about some things you should know to travel during the pandemic. If you are new around here you might not know but we were supposed to be going to the Maldives um, for our second anniversary and things ended up falling through based on a mistake by the travel agency. However I feel like I learned a lot in the process so we had to cancel our trip obviously. I'll go ahead and link that video up above for you guys to watch if you haven't already seen that to hear the full story of what happened but basically um i just wanted to give you guys some tips because i felt like there wasn't enough videos out there like this that was like giving you the bullet points of like okay let's say you want to travel domestic that's a totally different ballpark from traveling internationally right now because of all the rules and regulations i know this is a controversial topic for some people but in my personal opinion if you don't agree that's totally okay i respect people's decision either way but i think if the government is allowing it and there's these strict rules for you to follow to travel to international countries it might not apply if you're going to like mexico to go and stuff like that but at least to go to the Maldives there was very strict regulations to have multiple negative tests to even go and I think if you're being safe and clean and you're distancing and you're wearing your mask and doing all the things following all the rules then you can do it safely so yeah I just wanted to make this video to hopefully help some of you guys out to make this a little bit less of a stressful process because I felt like when I was looking for videos like this people were kind of vague about things and I wanted it all laid out in one video so First things first, depending on where you are going, your country that you, the destination you're going to is going to have different rules based on the destination. So for me specifically, we were going to the Maldives. So like you can look up the rules for the Maldives right now, if they're even open, what kind of tests they're requiring, what the restrictions are, what the rules are for you to travel there, as well as what airline you're planning to fly has their own set of rules. So you can go to that website. We were going to fly Emirates. So I went to Emirates website and they actually had all their COVID rules listed out on there. And it talked about, you know, what, depending on what country you're flying through for your layover if you don't have a layover then probably different rules but anyway our layover was through Dubai and it said if you're flying through Dubai like here's the rules for Dubai so even though I'm coming from Seattle Washington we were gonna fly to Dubai and then to the Maldives so the United States has a different set of regulations than Dubai and then to Maldives so you have to be really familiar I would recommend getting a notebook and just writing everything down that's how I organized everything but I looked up all the rules for each of those countries so in Dubai their regulation was to get a PCR test. I don't know if that's standard. I don't want to tell you guys that it's a black and white rule because I don't want you to just be like, oh, she said to get this, like that's what I'm going to get and ends up being the wrong test. So I highly suggest whatever country you're traveling through and whatever country you're going to look up their rules, look on your airline. They should have a lot of information on there as well. You might even be able to call them. They probably are really busy with phone calls right now, so they might not be able to help, but the website really should have everything that you need. The other option is to ask your resort that you're going to. They could probably point you in the right direction to find that information. Okay, so moving on to the COVID test. You obviously have to have a COVID test to travel internationally, minus I think Mexico is not requiring it. I haven't been to Mexico since the pandemic. I haven't actually even traveled internationally since the pandemic, but I do know that Mexico is a different set of rules. I don't even think they require a test, which I don't know. I don't think I agree with that. I do like that they do the test before you go because you know everyone's safe. It's getting on the plane and then you do another test when you land. So you have to have a negative test within 72 hours of departure. This is where things get really tricky. So if you need to write this down to kind of keep it organized, that's what I had to do. I literally had to map out the hours because you have to get your test results or not even results, sorry. You have to get your test taken within 72 hours of departure. I don't know if that's a rule all across the board, but from what I've heard from everybody else, I have some of my followers told me over on Instagram that they had the same rule when they traveled as well so your test has to be within 72 hours of departure and then for me specifically dubai had to be within 96 hours of dubai so i mean i guess that makes sense because your flight's not going to be more than what would be the math on that I don't know, another 24 hours. <laughs> so the math pretty much works on that, but it just has to be within a certain time period. And then you also have to have a negative test sometimes depending on the country, right at the airport, they'll have rapid tests from what I've heard. Like I said, I haven't actually experienced that yet, but that's what I've seen. And then you also have to get a test to come home. So at the resort, like I would say three or four days before you leave, I'm sure you have to get another test to get the negative results to come back to your country. This is where it gets tricky. So what I learned, and it might not be the same for everyone because you have to find, um, I would look for the Department of Health, the health department in your county or wherever you live and see where they recommend going to get your test so again 
if you know the type of test you need. So we need a PCR test. So I had to find places that did those tests. We had to get rapid results because some places take up to a week or two weeks to even get results. Ideally, you would get one that was like same day results or the next day. We couldn't find anything like that as soon as we could find the 72 hours, okay? So it was very tricky to schedule it within 72 hours of when you are going to be departing on your plane. And then at the same time, depending on where you go if they do the test results within 24 hours or whatever that's great that's amazing we couldn't find anywhere that did that with the type of test we needed so it was a little bit stressful because what we did was i booked my flight six months ago so i didn't even know any of these rules but i would recommend depending on i mean it probably is just best all across the board to have your departure flight on a thursday or friday reason being the issue that we ran into besides the whole issue with our travel agency if that wasn't even a thing we still wouldn't have made it because our test was in 72 hours of the window however the lab that the office sent the test to was only open monday through friday so our flight was supposed to be on a tuesday so we did this the test on a saturday and it was supposed to be we we're supposed to get the results by tuesday morning to leave that tuesday afternoon um, or earlier they say we took the test saturday morning and they didn't start testing it or whatever the day the 72 hours didn't start until monday if that makes sense so really you wouldn't get the test till tuesday or wednesday so hopefully that makes sense so basically 72 hours before and then you just need to make sure that the lab is open on the days that are the 72 hours before if that makes sense so now what i'm going to do next time is i'm going to book our departure flight for a friday that way we have as many business days as possible where the office can get our sample on a tuesday morning and then tuesday wednesday thursday friday yeah if we did it on a Tuesday morning, then by the time that they actually give us results, we would get them in time because it's three business days. Ideally, you'd get them a little bit earlier, even maybe if it was on a weekday and not as many people are testing in the middle of the week. I don't know. But that is just my biggest tip because I feel like that was the most complicated part for me was that I felt like either way we're screwed because the lab's not even open to take the tests or to do the tests until Monday through Friday. Anyway. Okay, so the next thing is, again, your airline should have all of these rules and as well as the country um, requiring certain things to be printed and brought with you. So I know when you get a negative test, you have to print out the negative results and have them with you. And then you also need to fill out a form. I don't know if every country is like that, but I know the Maldives specifically required you to fill out like a health declaration form 24 hours before you fly out. So make sure you guys are going online. It's not just like you book a flight and you get to go. COVID is a whole different ball game. You got to go online and make sure you have all the paperwork filled out. There's a lot of paperwork involved that could totally ruin your trip if you're not prepared so make sure you go online and get that stuff filled out as well as you have to have your i believe you have to have your booking for your resort printed out and brought with you as well they want to confirm that you actually have a booking and then if you need a visa depending on where you're going how long you're going make sure you get that all figured out don't forget to do that as well Okay, so those are my biggest tips. I feel like the biggest one was about the uh, business days with the test and making sure you have enough time for them to test. Don't do it over the weekend because they're not even gonna be open. Make sure you get the correct type of test and make sure you are researching on the airline's website slash on the destination's website or on the destination uh, rules to see you know what the country of destination that you're going to, what their rules are for traveling because they're all different. And they might be the same, they might be. I honestly don't know, I just don't want you to take my word for it and then be wrong. But this is me giving you my best tips and things that I feel like I was all over the board like trying to figure out and I couldn't quite figure it out. But just so you know, every everyone has to take except I think Mexico is an exception, but for these uh, travel internationally, you take negative tests to even go. You take them when you land. Uh, you have to quarantine until you get results. You also quarantine before you leave for your trip. And then you're, in most cases, you're not allowed to leave your resort. And there's also not a lot of activities. Some of the activities aren't even open if it involves a space where you can't socially distance. So these resorts are being really strict about the rules as well, especially a place like Maldives. They're really sanitary in everything that they do. So they have a lot of really strict rules. And just practice sanitary sanitization in your travels make sure you bring a lot of hand sanitizer masks I know that these big airlines make you wear a face shield as well the ones that go internationally during the whole flight bring medical masks those ones are the best they're also easiest to 
breathe in than those really thick cotton ones. Bring your negative tests, social distance as much as possible, quarantine until you get results, um, and just stay at the resort. There is a way, in my opinion, to do it safely, and I think that's why the government has created these rules. If you follow them, then you can do it the safest way possible, as well as everyone else is practicing these same rules. Everyone else has to test negative as well to go to that resort and be negative before they can leave the room. So hopefully that helped answer some of your guys' questions. I feel like I was so confused when I was trying to plan our trip, but I feel like all of this stuff is what I wish I would have seen in someone's video, but I feel like I learned some of this the hard way and other things I just kind of pieced together and made assumptions. I thought you hit the door. I thought, were you what? <laughs> What are you doing? Can I finish? Yes, what are you doing? Get out! No! What are you doing? Hey, come close out with me then. What? I was giving my tips for traveling. Oh, nice. Because it was very confusing. Okay, yep. this is Garrett. This is me. My husband. My husband. My husband. Go ahead and follow him at Garrett underscore troll on Instagram. And he also has a new channel now. I know some of you guys get really confused with that. So he's at Garrett Terrell on YouTube. He doesn't post very much, but he needs to do better. Um, <laughs> but he just does real estate stuff. And yeah, hopefully we get to go on this trip in 2021. We're working on rescheduling it now. Go ahead and follow me at Tay Terrell on Instagram and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I thought you were gonna say something. No, that's pretty much it. Okay, we'll see you in the support. next video.